How you feeling, man? I'm feeling good, bro. Here he is. Two, two superstars, yeah. So, talk to me. Is this uh, this gonna be his coming out party? Yeah. I mean, Dominic Brazil is a barometer opponent. Obviously, he's been in the ring with Joshua. He has that Olympic pedigree. Um, we're, we're, looking... we're, we're on top. Yeah, this is by far the, the best opponent of these years for. Kevin Ferry. But he's been fighting well within himself. And we've been looking for a challenge for a long time. And when this, when this opportunity arose, and uh, Dominic's name was put out there, he just said, yes, give me this fight. Now, this fight can easily escalate him into top 10 and title contention. Well, he's in top 10 now. He's nine, he's nine with the uh, IBF and 10 with the WBO. Is that what you're looking for, a title shot already, or are you still no, looking to groom him? No, he's just, uh, he's just building. Exactly. He's huh? building. This is our first fight in America. This is our first fight on uh, American television. Television. That's a great opportunity, you know, it's a fight that we've prepared very well for. We're, we're in against a big strong guy, the guy that Joshua took seven rounds to get out. You know, we know that uh, we have to fight the, the right sort of style in this fight to be successful and, you know, we're, we're feeling very good about our chances tonight. Alright, now, he's been known as a power puncher. He is a power puncher. How, how, I mean, obviously this fight is going to let us know how real that power is because we have a, a barometer opponent, someone we've seen withstand some punches from Joshua mm -hmm. for however long it lasted. Um, but for us, you know, for those that don't get to watch this fight, how could you assess Izuno? Izuno's got explosive power. Very, very heavy-handed. Can hit you on both sides of the head. Uh, I believe is the best body puncher in the heavyweight division. Uh, he's left a lot of guys on the canvas with liver shots. Uh, it's a, he's a the complete fighter. Where are you guys planning on marketing him? I mean, him being Poland, but Nigerian descent, do you take him back to Poland? Is he going to build in Australia? Is he going to be U.S.? What's your plans for him? He lives with me in Las Vegas and has done for the last two and a half years. And we've all, our plan has always been to get him on television here in America. Okay. This is where we want to campaign easily. Is he signed with Lou or is it just a fight by fight basis? Who's he with? No, he's uh, he signed a deal with uh, Al Heyman okay. just prior to Christmas, and that's why we're able to get this television opportunity in his nice. first up fight in America. So we will be seeing a lot of him, especially yes. if he wins. We hope. <laughs> so obviously, you have Joseph Parker back here. He's in a big fight himself, making his first defense of his WBO title versus a very famous Huey Fury. Not as famous as the other brother, no. but. No, uh, the name still holds weight nonetheless. Well, we're not fighting a name, we're actually fighting an opponent. We're fighting a, a young, undefeated fighter with a very awkward style, somebody who controls the distance very well, somebody who has a very difficult style with a lot of movement. So it'll be a complete adjustment for us uh, fighting Huey Fury. Uh, it's a fight we saw the last fight that Joseph fought when he won the title against Sandy Ruiz. He fought most of it off the back foot. This particular fight, I think you'll see us come forward a lot more. We're going to have to make the fight because I think uh, Huey's not going to want to stand there and trade with Parker. Parker's got much heavier hands than him, and it's, it's been proven. You know, Joe's fought a lot better opponents, um, and uh, I think it's a fight that we're going to have to be the aggressor in. Do you think that Huey is ready for this opportunity? I know that, I mean, in boxing, you have to grab those opportunities like title shots when they come, but you know, he suffered with the disease. He just finally was able to overcome that and find the right medication. He says he's 100%. Do you believe he will be 100%? Oh, I think that we'll see the very best, Fury Fury. Don't forget, the guy's 22 years old. He's getting better every time he enters the ring, and uh, we'll be training and preparing for. Uh, the best Huey Fury that uh, anyone's seen. 
So yeah, I think that he will he will take this opportunity. He's been uh, with his cousin Tyson for the last three years as a pro. He's been sharing the same sparring partners. He's watched and learned. He's very well trained by his father. He was a tremendous amateur. He was a world junior champion. And um, we think this is going to be a, 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 ve a very difficult and a challenge for Joseph Parker. Well, you have a lot of big assignments today, so I'm going to leave you with one last question just to lighten the mood. You hold the pads for both men. Who holds the more power? Is it Izuno or is it Joseph? You know I can't answer that question. <laughs> Thank you so much.